Squirrels can't live without them. <laughs> Dwayne, for sure. For a thousand percent. Because my back hurts from carrying him from all these years. If it wasn't comedy, I would probably still be in the streets doing tough guy stuff. Hi, Kevin. You look rather cool. Hello. How are you? You look cool, too. Two cool peas in a pod. <laughs> I know, hey, Mr. first question is, when you read the script, were you, were you like John Travolta, as in the bloke from Greece? <laughs> what is going on in my life? Uh, well, if I had a discovery of John Travolta when I read the script, that would be bad. Um, we knew that it would be John Travolta um, as we were like finishing the script because we had went out to him uh, way before and we had piqued his interest. So we knew that the possibilities of getting him were extremely high. Um, so it just made the material that much better. Were you tempted to ask him to sign some Grease memorabilia, perhaps teach you dance, you know, do a bit of a shimmy with him? No, I didn't want the Grease memorabilia. I wanted to talk about Face Off. Face Off is one of my favorite movies with him and Nicolas Cage. Uh, and I mean, look, it's one of many unbelievable movies that he's done. Uh, you can go down a list if you start going to John Travolta or going through John Travolta like IP. So uh, it was good just to hear some of the stories that he had, hear him talk about the business and, and just be a sponge and soak as much up as I could. Did Kevin Hart ever think that he'd be shot at by Josh Hartnett and you know, John Travolta at once. Was that ever on the bucket list? Uh, getting shot at is never on the bucket list, but in a movie like Manor, it's fun. So uh, in this case, I welcomed it. It was, uh, it was definitely a plus, and both of them, both of them made the experience pleasurable. I have to ask you about being America's funny man. Does it ever get tired, tiring? Does it ever get tiring? Well, that's not fair. I mean, I think, um, you know, getting the opportunity to perform at the highest level and make people laugh is something that I could have only dreamed of. Um, and the world of complaining about it doesn't match or mirror the dream. So I can't say that it gets tiring even if and when it does, right? I, I welcome the bed that I now have the opportunity to lay in. And, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. So I think that... Um, being responsible for a good mood or a smile that others have or or can have is one of the best feelings ever. So for that alone, I'm forever indebted to the world of comedy. You do give us a lot of love. I have to ask you, if you were going to go to an action camp, right, and take anyone with you, who are you bringing? Um, Kevin Hart, Jack Nicholson. So this is people that need to get better? Like they need to get better yeah. at action? Uh, Dwayne. For sure, a thousand percent, because my back hurts from carrying him from all these years. What do you think you'd say when you send him the invite? Thank you, because I need it. There it is, flat, just like that. Yep. And did you ever, ever, when you were, do like an impression of a tough guy in the mirror trying to be an action man when you were dreamt to be an actor? No, I was always a tough guy. Uh, I never had to do the impression because that's who I was, you know. Thank God for comedy, because if it wasn't comedy, I would probably still be in the streets doing tough guy stuff, right? Squirrels are my favorite animal, so thank you for bringing them to movies. Thank ah, you for that. Squirrels can't live without them. <laughs>